What do I mean when I say Mikhail Bridges reads the positioning of his defender and reacts before the ball's in his hands? Well, I mean it on a play like this. Relocates to the top of the key, drives, lefty layup. Now, this was all created by his reaction to Jabari, Smith's, to Jabari Smith Jr.'s closeout, which is late and hurried. Now, Mikhail Bridges catching the ball right here reads the momentum of this closeout, and even though there is a good what, 12, 10 feet of space between them? As soon as he catches this ball, he's attacking that closeout by going the opposite way. And he completely catches Jabari Smith Jr., flat-footed. He doesn't have enough time to completely 180 his momentum. Bridges gets the layup. Again, one more time, he is using Jabari Smith Jr.'s momentum against him. And he does this a lot, and it makes him a really solid off-ball player. Again, little bit better of a defender, I'd say, in Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart's closing out to his right, so Mikhail Bridges, as soon as he catches this ball, loads up with his legs and goes to his own right, aka the opposite direction of Marcus Smart. And you'll see it in real time here, and then I'll play it back. Um, he ends up getting to the rack, laying it in. This is essentially working as a jab and a cross, jabbing to the left, crossing back to the right. Now, again, this isn't really a spectacular handle or a super explosiveness, but playing with Marcus Smart's momentum, using it against him, creates an easy layup. This one, even more so. Bridges' defender is Emmanuel Quickly right here, who's playing so far off of him, helping way over to the ball side. Now, when Cam ja Johnson is making this pass cross court, Bridges is loading up way before the catch, and by the time it's in his hands, he's gone. Puts the Knicks in rotation, swing, swing. Knicks guard it pretty well, force a pull-up jump shot. But again, Bridges loading up way before the catch creates an advantage situation for the Nets. That's what I mean when I say the edges around his game as an offensive player are really refined. It's this sort of stuff that makes him harder to guard, specifically off the ball.